Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. NBC host attacks Melania's parents for becoming citizens. Let's them know they aren't welcome here. There are few things more patriotic and moving than someone becoming an American citizen. It's not an easy thing to do and usually takes years and great effort to accomplish. It sure did for my son-in-law but he will tell you it was worth all of it and he'd do it again in a heartbeat. Why? Because this is the greatest and freest nation on the planet, despite our differences and divisions. No one should be mocked or attacked for becoming a U.S. citizen the legal and right way. But the left doesn't seem to get that. Especially the media. And if it has anything to do with President Trump then it's got to be bad, wrong and evil according to many on the left. Victor and Amalai Genaves, 74 and 73 respectively, are First Lady Melania Trump's parents. Yesterday, they took the oath to become U.S. citizens and I rejoiced over it. NBC Nightly News, however, did not share my sentiments. Lester Holt speculated on his broadcast that Melania's parents somehow got special treatment because of their relation to the First Lady. Holt pretty much made it evident they were not welcome here. He even suggested that chain migration was used. Chain migration is a program that most Americans and President Trump oppose. It's still used and is legal, but if Trump gets his way, it won't be for long because it poses security risks to the nation. It is the practice of bringing family members over when you become a citizen. Melania became a citizen long ago, so that doesn't hold water here. If that is what this is it took 12 years. Now to new questions tonight about a possible double standard when it comes to the first family, declared an offended Lester Holt. First Lady Melania Trump's parents becoming brand new U.S. citizens today apparently through a process that President Trump has repeatedly railed against and has said he wants to end. It took her parents years to become citizens. I don't know how he came to that conclusion. NBC's White House correspondent Peter Alexander made a point in his report that Melania's parents were Slovenia immigrants taking the oath in New York City. Their experience reigniting questions whether they obtained citizenship through chain migration, a family unification process President Trump's repeatedly denounced, he announced with what seemed to be a huge dose of sarcasm. Alexander was less than convinced of the couple's lawyer's insistence that they did not receive any special treatment from the government. Asked if Naves's used chain migration, the lawyer told the New York Times, I suppose it's a dirty dirtier word, he added. Multiple media outlets are claiming that Melania used her visa to get them citizenship. I think that is distorted reporting. Alexander acted as if this was a groundbreaking news scoop. He said that the First Lady's parents are familiar faces at the White House. Mrs. Trump missing today's private ceremony, although she reportedly sponsored her parents' visa applications after she became a citizen in 2006. Whether she did that or not, they obtained citizenship 12 years later by their own efforts. At this point, NBC could not help themselves and attacked Trump's immigration policy. All of it comes just days after NBC News was first to report the Trump administration is considering a crackdown on legal immigration, Alexander smirked. The proposal would make it more difficult for people to obtain citizenship or green cards if they receive some sort of public assistance. And frankly, it should. Not every media outlet behaved this way. CBS Evening News went out of their way to congratulate the First Lady's parents. Melania Trump's parents became U.S. citizen today. Victor and Amalai Genaves, natives of Slovenia took the oath at a ceremony in New York City. They had been living in the U.S. as permanent residents, reported anchor Jeff Glor. Which also indicates they followed the legal process to become citizens. Good for CBS on this. And not only did they welcome Melania's parents, CBS made sure to separate the story from Trump's immigration policy. Sprinkles of real journalism here for a change without the bias. CBS kicked off the broadcast by reporting on a federal judge who blocked the administration from deporting asylum seekers who were already in the judicial process. The news brief on Melania's parents was the second-to-last story they covered. NBC behaved shamefully over this news event. When Obama was president, the liberal media, including NBC, were very reluctant to mention anything that had to do with his half-brothers and sisters. Matters of immigration were infrequent in their headlines and deference was given to Obama on the issue. No such treatment is given to President Trump. There is a five-year requirement for green card holders before they can become citizens. Melania's parents got their green cards just as they were supposed to. As the two held their hands over their hearts and recited the Pledge of Allegiance, Wilds called the ceremony inspiring and heartwarming. They got no special treatment during the citizenship process, Wilde said. I believe that and the media is trying to make this something it's not. It was a wonderful event regardless and I welcome Melania's parents as U.S. citizens.
That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.